So I messed up and I didn't record when I first started. I just used the Japanese primer and the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus foundation. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Creaseless Concealer and I'm just applying that under my eyes and then a little bit on my forehead and just down my, the center of my nose. And And then I'm going to blend that out as usual with my Sigma um, blending brush. It's an E40 blending brush. I like to use this brush on myself because it's a little bit more detailed. And I just have a little bit more control of where I'm blending it because my under eyes are kind of, it's a little tricky to cover up. So I find this just works best for me. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of this Mana Kadar um, face powder in the color C2, I think, to um, set that under eye. And then I'm just going to take uh, this Motives Sculpting Palette and I'm going to do a little bit of, I'm just going to add a little bit of warmth back into my face and then kind of contour the forehead a little bit. So I'm just going to apply it where I want it and basically just my forehead and then kind of my cheekbones and on my nose and then I'm going to blend it out with the same foundation brush that I used in the beginning. It just makes blending a little bit more easier with this brush since there's already a little bit of foundation left on the brush. It just kind of helps it blend a little bit better. And before I add any powder, I'm going to add this liquid highlighter from Sigma and I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones and a little bit on my nose and then blend that out. For my eyes, as usual, I'm starting out with Sigma's eyeshadow base in Persuade. This really helps cancel out any discoloration, which is why I like using this color. And then for the shadows, they're all going to be from this Tartlet In Bloom um, palette. I really like this palette. I mean, who doesn't love neutrals, right? I, I really like it. I love the matte colors in it. So I'm going to take this orangey brownish color and I'm going to take my Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm going to apply that into the crease. It's going to be my crease color, but then I'm also going to take that onto the outer half of the lid because it's going to kind of be my lid color too. And then I'm going to take this kind of like light nude color and I'm going to apply that just in the first half of my eyelid. I like this color because it's, it's really close to my skin tone, just a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to pack that on with a flat brush and then I'm going to take the same blending brush I used before and kind of blend it with the other color. After that, I'm going to take this really dark, cool brown color. I really like this color also. And I'm going to take a small pointed brush and kind of apply that where I want it. And then I'm going to take my Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm going to blend that out. Then I'm going to take that same color and with a flat brush, but this one is by Sigma, I'm going to run that same brown color under my lower lash line. And then I'm going to blend that out with a Sigma pencil brush, E30 pencil brush, and with the same color that I used in my transition, for my transition color. And then for liner, we need to talk about this Sigma eyeliner. It's from their new pink collection. I am absolutely in love with it. It is so easy to use. It's so thin. I love the, um, the brush handle. And it is so super matte. It's the most matte eyeliner I have ever tried, but it doesn't get cakey or like flaky or anything like that. So after I had my eyeliner on, I took this Motives Glitter and I think it's called Ig Ignite and I applied it with some glitter glue and first applied it just like I would do a basically a wing. And then I added a little bit more glitter glue first and then applied the glitter after. For my waterline, I used this Tarte Inner Rim Brightener. I really like this one because it's not like a stark white, but it comes up so bright on my waterline. 
And that's it for the eyes after applying eyelashes. I then finished my face and I used a Ciate London um, bronzer. I think it's called Star Island. I'm not sure. Everything will be listed below. And I just applied that all over my face with a more fluffy brush everywhere I put that um, sculpting cream before. And then for highlighter, I used the Benefit What's Up highlighter. And I first applied it with a brush, but then to make it a little bit more intense, I used my finger. And then for a blush, I used this new Sigma. It's also from the Pink, Pink Collection, um, Aurora Powder. And for the red on my lips, I used the new Anastasia Candy Apple, I think it's called, lipstick. And it's really not, a, it's not a matte lipstick, which I thought it was when I first tried it on, but it doesn't get really matte like the other ones. And that's it.